Okay guys, today we are going to use the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor of 12,378 and 3,054. And then we will find integers x and y such that the greatest common divisor of these two numbers equal to equal to this one, this number times x plus 3,054 y. And can we have other integers other than x and y in b? Now let's find the greatest common divisor. Let's start from, from problem A. To find the greatest common divisor, we need to divide one number by the last number. Okay? So it turns out to be we need to divide we need to divide this number by three thousand. 54. So we got to have 12,378 equal. This is our divisor. So this is our divisor. And I think the, 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 divide, the, the quotient turns out to be 4. Because 3,054 times 4 is, is what number? Is 12. And this one, okay? And then, what is the remainder? So we gotta have one, two, two, one, six. We gotta have one, six, two, okay? One, six, two, all right? And then we divide this number by 162. So we gotta have 3,054 equal 162 multiplied by 1 oh, sorry what is the what is the deep the quotient of of this number when it is divided by 162 let's use let's try 18 so I'll try to find the remainder okay 162 times 18 1620 800 Let's multiply this number. So we have six, one, nine, two. Okay, I think this one is is more than enough, right? Okay, so we're gonna have two nine one six. So it turns out to be one hundred thirty eight. One hundred thirty eight, and we divide one hundred sixty two by. 138, 162, 138, you need to multiply by 1 plus 24. And we divide 138 by 24. 138 by 24. So what is the quotient? The quotient is 5. Because 4 times 5 is 120. So we need to add 18. Then we got to have 24 equal 18 times 1. So we plus 6, okay? So we got to have 18 equal to 6 times 3. And our remainder is now 0. So according to, according to Euclidean algorithm, the greatest common divisor is here. Okay? It's right here. It is the last remainder. So, by... Euclidean algorithm. What do we have? The greatest common divisor of 12,378, 3054 is 6. Okay, great. Now, let's find the Bessel identity for this greatest common divisor. So we have to start from, from, from this sentence, from this equation. So we have start with 6 equal 24 minus 18. Okay, we start from, from this one next to last equation. So we're going to have 6 equal 24 minus 18 times 1. Then what next? 18 
Now take a look at the 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 higher equation here. And as we can see, eighteen can be one hundred thirty-eight minus twenty-four times five. So we're gonna have twenty-four minus one hundred thirty-eight minus twenty-four times five and times one. Okay, what do we have next? We need to distribute this negative sign. So we get to have 24 minus 38 plus 25, 24 times 5. Then we get to have 24 times 6. Give me a second. Okay, so we get to have 24 times 6. Okay. And minus 138. Uh, yep. And then, then what do we have next? Next is 24. Next is 424, right? 24 is 162 minus 138. So it turns out to be 162 minus 138 times 1. Okay, and times 6 outside there. Then we have 162. So next thing we're going to do is to try to plug in 138. Okay, but we try to simplify first. So we got to have 162 times 6 minus 1, 138 times 6. <laughs> Minus 138. Then it turns out to be 62. 162 times 6 minus 138 times 7. And let let's simplify this one. So let let's transform this this remainder. 138 is 3,000. 54 minus this number so we gotta have one six two times six minus three thousand fifty four minus six two one six two times eighteen and times seven and distribute seven then what do we have? We're gonna have 162 times 6. We're gonna have 3054 times 7 minus 162. Okay, what is 18 times 7? 18 times 7 is 70 plus 56, 126. Okay, is 126. So we're gonna have 162 times 130. 2 minus okay minus 3054 times 7 now what next now we look for this one because right now we have 3054 okay now we try to have 162 in terms of these two numbers because we we have Calculate the greatest common divisor of 12,000 and this 3,000. So we gotta have, we have to write 62 in terms of these two numbers. Then so it turns out to be, okay, let me copy this, this equation. And it turns out to be, give me a second. Let me think. Is 12, okay, 3, 7, 8. Minus 3054 times 4 times 132 minus 3054 times 7. And then distribute this number 132. So we gotta have 12, 12,378 times 132 minus 3054. And we're going to have 
4 times this one, right? Okay, 132 times 4, 400, 120, and 8. So we have 5, 2, 8. Okay? 5, 2, 8 minus 3,054 times 7. Then it turns out to be 12,378 times 132 minus. Minus which one? So we minus this number. We're going to have 3,000. Okay, we're going to plus 3,054 minus 535. That's it. Okay. So that means that the greatest common divisor of 12,378 and 3,054 can be written as this identity. So we have 12,000 times 132 plus 3,054 times minus 535. Okay, this is our basal identity of the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. And the question is, can we have another identity? Or can we have other integers other than 132 and minus 535? Okay, let's try to do it. So if you can find it, if you can find it, we gotta have another integers. So one way to do, okay, let me copy this one here. This is six, right? Six is the greatest common divisor of this two number. So what I'm going to do is to add and subtract. So what number that I have to add to add? 3,054 times 1,378. 12, I add this one, right? Add this number, okay? Into the middle term here. And subtract. Subtract 3,054, 12, 1378 okay then what next factorize this term so we're gonna have 12378 times 132 plus plus 3054 and factorize this number so what do we have we're gonna have 3054 times minus 553 and minus which one one two three seven eight okay and then add this number so we're gonna have twelve thousand three hundred seventy eight three one eight six plus three thousand fifty four minus which one one two nine one three okay great so this is the another form of greatest common divisor of 12,378 and 3,054. Okay, we can find another form right here. So that means that the, 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 uh, there are many possibilities of these integers for, for this equation. Okay. And that's it for this video.